Hey, Roger Carmina, just uh, gonna do a walkthrough of the house and uh, just some notes I put down of things that may need to be addressed here. And I'm just gonna hit everything and then we can we can talk about that later. So I'll put this up for you. So um, sidewalk, it's definitely raised up on both sides. Um, it's kind of part, it may be possible just to um, um, lift it up, level it and put it back down to be safe. Not too bad over there, it could still be addressed, but that at least solves that for right now. But this one's definitely high uh, and grinding is not gonna work on that. So it's gotta be either redone or lowered. Um, screens probably need to be replaced. Um, and even the door is just a better, they've been here for a long time, the really old ones. Um, I'm gonna recommend on all the windows, even the blinds are in good shape, um, that we buy, uh, that we get blinds that have no strings. Um, I'm really recommend all my owners put um, replace those as they uh, can with ones with no strings. It's a choking hazard, and so the new ones are great. You just push them up, push them down. Um, I'm gonna have, uh, all the uh, windows should be recalked while we get it there, as well as the uh, the tub. Or uh, we'll talk about the tub later. Uh, any spots like down there that need to be recalled, have those done. It wouldn't hurt to redo. The laminate, this laminate's pretty, um, it was pretty, it was probably good at the time it was put in, but it's, uh, it's starting to, I mean, you're getting, we're getting gaps in spaces, we're getting spots or things are starting to fold up, peel up, you can see right there. Um, the laminate right now is, so, is bulletproof that it should be good to last forever. Um, normal wear and tear in the paint, nothing is spectacular, but we should uh, repaint it. Um, get the interior repainted. Concern here with the kitchen cabinets, just because the house shifted in that, we're getting a pretty, pretty big gap right there. And that's this this corner here is uh, right here is sinking lower, and um, <clears throat> it may be time to redo the cabinets or the counters and putting in a lighter material that doesn't put as much weight on here as this does. Um, so that might help. Um, cabinets are in, look fine. It wouldn't hurt to paint them a lighter color just so to brighten this kitchen up because this kitchen is really dark with the with the dark tile and the uh, dark cabinets um, just to make it things brighter in there, make it more enjoyable uh, kitchen to be in. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Um, backyard, we need to put a drain in there. Yeah, let me, sorry, I'm trying to get sick here. So you've, we've got drainage from the top there. So I'm wondering if we can't cut across cut across over here and tap into this somewhere. I don't know if it goes this way or it goes underneath the concrete, um, but tap into that because that one and that one both um, drain out. So, uh, but we do need to address this flooding issue in here. The tree was cut down because it was, uh, it had fallen down. So, and then that back fence is supposed to be replaced. We're waiting for the lady behind here to take care of that. She hasn't uh, done that. We gave the okay a while ago. Um, back paint is, Faded, it can probably do for a little while longer um, before we paint exterior because I think the interior is more the bigger priority. Um, doors are all in fairly good shape. Uh, I'm recommending paint interior um, trim and all that get it all cleaned up again. Um, same issue with this bathtub as the one next door. Uh, there's just we can't reseal that and do that. It just keeps you know, peeling apart. So we should probably replace the tub in here. Um, and uh, toilet, I also recommend you going to a one piece uh, toilet. It's a uh, tank and toilet or bowl are all in, in one. Uh, they're about 150 bucks right now for those. Uh, we should replace the limo and the baseboard in here because it's all seen a lot of wear in that. Um, with that, shower stall is not too bad, or it needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Um, Again, the blinds in here and painting. Um, need a uh, get another garage door opener for the a remote. The one they have is not working. Um, dishwasher is kind of getting close to the end of its life. Looks like um, I don't know how long it's been since the water heater's been done. Uh, does look like an older one. While we're taking care of the HVAC, may not be a bad idea to replace that. And when this unit, when this is all taken out, have the HVAC done, and so then we know it's a good one. It's going to last another 10, 15 years. 
uh, but it may not need to be done just uh, preventative maintenance more than anything because um, I don't know exactly when it would be placed perhaps. Um, let's see. I think those were the, the basic things. There was little small things, but it's basically paint, uh, caulking, replacing the blinds, maybe addressing the kitchen with the counters, uh, the drainage in the backyard, uh, get landscaping in. We should probably put in some like uh, low maintenance backyard landscaping as well. Um, to make this uh, uh, easier, maybe a little bit of lawn, and then the rest bark and and uh, some plants and stuff back there. Okay, so uh, there's probably some things that I missed on my list. I made a list, but I'll send you the list as well. You can look at that, and then we can take some time, and uh, we can talk about this uh, over the next few days. Okay, thanks guys. Bye-bye.